Firstly, people. People are fantastic here. It's a very warm culture. I've been here twice now. I've come alone both times. I've never been alone. It's the type of place people will come up to you. They're very open. They want to help. I find it very authentic. It's not just a politeness. There's, there's a realness to it. Secondly, diversity. It's super mixed up. The geography is all over the place. You have lush forests, mountains, desert like this, sea, Persian Gulf. And it's also culturally varied. Every region you go to in this country is, is much different. Uh, thirdly, I'd say the infrastructure. Infrastructure is good. That was, a, that was a surprise to me. The main highways are good. The inter-country flights are excellent. Trains, long distance buses, very easy to get around. That hasn't been a problem at all. Quite often a guest house will book, you know, whatever you need. Uh, fourth thing that really stands out is the history. The history is deep. There are many, many layers to this place. There's a feeling in Iran. There's a depth and you feel it when you first land. That's something you just have to experience on your own. That's, that's just by being on the ground here. Safety. Uh, well, that's most people's main concern with Iran because of what's seen on the news. And it's so crazy this place gets such a, such a bad rap on that front because the actual reality is completely different than the perceived reality, which is it's safe to travel here. Things can happen. I did have a phone stolen in Tehran this trip. Uh, that can happen in Rome, that can happen in Barcelona. But as far as petty crime, there is some. Violent crime, super, super low. Most likely safer than where you're from. If you're coming from the West, pretty much definitely safer than where you're from. Uh, maybe Switzerland or Norway being an exception. They are really good at breaking down politics and people and separating the two. Do they hate US politics? Yeah, for sure. The country's getting pinched by sanctions right now. Do they hate American people? No. Probably the most pro-American country I've been to, which is very interesting. Costs. It's 2018, it's near the end of 2018, and their economy's been clobbered. They're dealing with hyperinflation. It's really shitty for the average person here. Uh, the sad reality, or the beneficial reality for the traveler is it's super cheap. I mean, ridiculously cheap. I don't think there's a value like this on the planet right now for what you get. I said I stayed at the most beautiful guest house and it was $25 a night. My plane ticket tomorrow back to Tehran is $20. So the cost, your money goes very far at the moment if you're coming in with a hard currency. There are a lot of clever people here. There are a lot of philosophical people. They like to go in the into the philosophy of things. Look, Rumi and um, Hafez, that's, that's like baked into the DNA of this place. If you like conversations about more philosophical topics, Iran's a great place to be. A lot of people speak English here and they speak it well. I think Farsi to English isn't the hugest gap. So as far as listening to it and the accent, it's pretty easy here. So getting by with English is not a problem. The food, the food is good. It's not my favorite because it's it's heavily meat-based and right, there's a lot of rice and bread. So I don't typically do a lot of rice and bread and a lot of meat. If you do, you're gonna love it. If you are a vegetarian, there are excellent alternatives and the names aren't coming into my head right now, but I had this bean soup last night that was delicious. Hospitality. Hospitality is, is, is deep and it's, and it's thick and people are gonna invite you for things here. Uh, just, just go open, go in with an open mind, an open heart, and if you do so, it's, it's gonna be sad to leave this trip. I have, I have such a social life here. I actually have more of a social life here than I do at home. And you will never feel alone in this country. There's some countries you go to and you have to really work to break through uh, the front lines, let's say. It's harder to connect into the people. I'd, I'd give for an example, China. Depending where you are in the far west is, is different. But say in the east, from what I've experienced, 
you're not going to connect in as easily. In Iran, it's, it's almost impossible if you put a smile on and, and, and say hello. They're going to give you so much here. Architecture is stunning. This Islamic architecture, beautiful. There's also some interesting stuff in Tehran. There's some new modern um, architecture. There's also some older stabs of Art Deco and some just some eclectic mixed up stuff. So don't listen to the hype, what you see on the media, the group think of all those around you that's, that are gonna tell you how dangerous Iran is. It, it's interesting that they have no, most people have no knowledge on what it's like in the country and they're the ones giving advice. Don't listen to that, do your own research because